Hello everybody and welcome back, it's me Kuno and today we're playing some more Dimension of Monster Girls. Oh, it's pretty hot today. Um, but hey, let's jump right into it, shall we? Yes. Okay, so last time we uh, we uh, met like a flower girl, like a Laura girl or whatever they were called, I don't really remember. But hey. Well, like, we came to a city, I don't really remember what we did last time, but hey, I'll remember eventually. But hey, let's, let's uh, begin, shall we? There are a few monster girls who look at me for a couple of seconds, then go back to what they're doing. Wait, wait, uh, let's read the history. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I didn't read this last time. Justice Al Alroni. Alro well, uh, Alroni, Alroni, how are you gonna call her Alroni? I don't know. Said, I came across a small village with no more than 30 houses. It seems that most of the residents are either in their homes or out. Yes. Okay. There are a few monster girls who look at me for a couple of seconds, then go back to what they were doing. I also noticed some humans, most are with monster girls. Probably the ones who claim them. One of them comes up to me. Hey, you're a new face. My name is Xander. He looks to be about five nine, and he's in a good mood. Is he actually happy about living with Matthews? He has a symbol of. Wait, he has a symbol of a woman with a lower body of spider on his neck. The other guys have symbols of their monster girls they're with, so perhaps it means a spider leg marked him. Is that what is going to happen to me? Will I end up with a symbol of one of the three girls who bit me? Uh, nice to meet you, I am Morgan. <laughs> you, you got a confused look in your eye. How are you guessing the monster girls who bit you did a poor job of explaining what is going on? They in a bit each, but I didn't stick around to hear everything they had to say. They had hacked me. I remember my life as soon as I could. Which is exactly why you were bit three times. If you had remained with the first monster girl, you would have mostly like, likely only been bitten once. I didn't know about the <coughs> I didn't know about the time limit until the second monster girl and she was crazy, so I had to get away from her. Why, why don't you tell me all that you know? I'll help you with anything you're confused about. So I told him everything. I see. They left you with the dark about many things. You'll have to forgive them for that. Most girls tend to get overexcited when they find a human they can mark. Their excitement means that they're likely to forget about about important things like answering where you are. Did you know? Yes, I do. Keep an open mind because it sounds unbelievable. You were supposed to die. What? Not just you, but every human here, including me, was supposed to die. We were all given a second chance at life by a portal that appeared to us right before we were about to die. The bright light in the ocean. I I remember that portal. Where did it bring us? Are we still on Earth? I don't think so. Uh, his voice is pretty annoying. We seem to be in some sort of alternate dimension. In this dimension, most girls exist. Like he's saying it like <laughs> like the normal world. I kind of say, okay, I don't know. You know. Quick question. I hadn't think of this before, but are there monster boys too? No. Not here at least. <laughs> it's like, yes! <laughs> there might be an entirely different dimension contained then. Who knows? This is nuts. It's a lot to take in. Most boys are like you. Just the guys? What are girls who arrive in this dimension like? <laughs> There hasn't been a record of a girl arriving to this dimension. It's always been males. 
Only males? How can that be? I mean, there's no monster boy, so why would there be any regular girls here? I don't know. They had their own monster boy dimension. We theorize that girls get teleported to the monster boy dimension I mentioned. Oh, well, I just said that. We don't have any solid proof, but some findings seem in to indicate it. I'm not really interested in hearing about theories. Wait a second. If there are only monster girls, then how do we reproduce? Ha. Uh, how do you think? <laughs> how do you think, dude? <laughs> I mean, it's not rocket science. How do I think? Well, I suppose they could re uh, reproduce asexually, but it seems too complicated for that. Well, of course they... Of course they do human males, dumbass. There are no monster boys or other males that look similar enough to them, like said uh, us. <laughs> Your face is priceless. I never get high of in the reaction when someone realizes that. You don't want to keep us as pets? Pets? <laughs> You're really very confused. I can't say how they wanted to mark and claim me. What else was I supposed to think other than they wanted to own me? They do <laughs> want you to be theirs, to be their husband. By its heart, it's essentially a muscular way of proposing to you. As a bite, um, or bites in your case, you have about five days to think about either you will accept or reject them. During the five days, they will court you and try to get you to like them. For you, you will have to either pick one of the girls that beat you or show none. Oh, so I like, had to choose a girl or something in this game? Hey guys, which girl you want me to choose? Tell me in the comments below. Yeah. Hey girls, if, if you care, I don't know. <laughs> if you pick a girl, then you become officially bonded to them and a symbol of them will appear on your neck. Wow. Free tattoos. If you pick nobody, then a black egg symbol will appear instead. Both kinds of symbols show monster girls that you are not to ever be bitten again. Their mana won't do anything to someone who's already had a symbol as a symbol anyways. Mm. So three girls are trying to court me? And Captain Sander who has a lot of fish in the sea. I don't think this way is what is meant. Well he didn't meant this. He did not meant monster girls, dude. Olivia, Kraken and an Alora. Hello, Romy. Hello, Romy. I don't know how to pronounce that. Guys, if you know how to pronounce it, please tell me in the comments because I, I can't butcher her name through the whole series, you know. Those are three very different types of Mazzy girls. Well, wait, is it? They share our in personality, too. Well, all people are kind of different in personality. Hey, are your relationships unequal? Only humans are marked, and the girls did say they wanted to um, The relationships are different from the Earth relationships. Most girls run this world and outnumber us by about five or four or five times. They do indeed think and refer to their human spouses as theirs, but they don't mean it in a bad way. Just like an obsessive girl's friend that will cut you if you look at someone else. I don't know. The vast majority treat their partners very well and love them with all their heart. <laughs> Not all of their heart. Treat us well? <laughs> Each of them threatened to forcibly beat me and the Lorini tried to. All three restrained me and wouldn't let me go, no matter how much I asked. Don't hold it against them. Their bites are probably the only hostility you'll see from them towards you. Single monster girls are extremely desperate for um, human mates. <laughs> and it's in their nature to try to capture and free. Wait, any free human they see? I see. John. Tired? Well, tell you what. I'll set you up with a small house. Well, he can just give me a house? What the fuck? <laughs> you take a long rest and think about what I said. 
I think you regret it if you didn't give these girls a chance. Now, now that you've been barred, is either choose one of them within five days or spend the rest of your life here single. Well, I wouldn't be single, I would suck ass. Most girls can't ever bond with someone who has an neck simple. It's actually might function as a repellent, believe it or not. So, like, if I get an ex, like, my balls will fall off? Oh, jeez. The ex symbol makes any muscle girl within the, the meter extremely uncomfortable. They'll even get sick if they spend too long around that person. I had to decide if I'm going to be with a muscle girl in only five days or be forever single if, if I change my mind. Uh, even if I change my mind in the future. What kind of stupid rule is that? Video game rules. Don't ask me. It's how your mana works. Heh. <laughs> Alright, I'll sleep on it. That's what I like to hear. You will be falling for one of them in no time. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, Alexander. Yeah? How about a house here if you're gonna set me up with? I don't have much money on me. Don't worry about it. It's on me for the first three months. You focus solely on the girls. Besides, Earth money is no good here. He really wants me to be with one of them. Can I do that? I'll admit that you're all strangely attractive, despite their vastly different bodies. But can I really fall in love with them so quickly? Well, I don't know. I don't know. Don't ask me. Thanks, I appreciate it. No problem. Alexander leads me to a house that looks fairly new and tells me to wait for him. A few months ago, goes in other human guys pass by, welcoming me to the village. I can't believe this is my new home. It's just as the Kraken said, there's no hope of getting back. Mom, Dad. Well, your mom and dad will think you died. Like, what would they think, like, Mom and Dad have a home, our son is dead. And they're like, no, he's not dead, he's in another dimension with Mazda girls. And his parents would be all like, oh. Oh. What, son? I was kidding. <laughs> At least my parents wouldn't know that. They, they would be pretty fucking confused, though. Sorry for the wait. Here you go. Alexander has me the key to the house. Thanks. Oh, God, you... Made some advances thanks to a few smart guys ending up here. The technology is still years behind her from what I've been told. I wouldn't know myself because I haven't been on Earth for 16 years. 16 years? When did you get here? Well, 16 years ago. <laughs> when I was 10. Uh, wait, is it old or not? I like, I've just pretended it's old or something. Uh, I was so scared back then. I remember when I first saw my wife. I thought she was going to eat me. I can really relate to that. I thought the lemon was going to eat me when I was the when I first saw her. <clears throat> I, it didn't help that I had a major <laughs> arachnophobia. I cried rivers when she bit me. Wow. It, like okay, never mind. Massive girls will even be by children. Yeah, the children is at least ten. Until, wait until it's okay. okay. <laughs> I was all like, wait, <laughs> like sound the bells. Uh, if a child is at least ten, <clears throat> but I'll wait until he's eighteen before they have. Yeah. <laughs> I don't buy it if he's any younger though, because of safety concerns. Sort of tried. Oh my god, this, this girl is so sick. At age 10 to 12, only one massacre is allowed to bite. At age 13 and 15, up to two can bite, and 16 and over, it's usual maximum of three. As you've been told, their mana can be a little dangerous, so we try not to inject us with too much of uh, for our age. Massacres have, have a lot of rules. <coughs> That they follow very strictly for both their benefits and for ours. And if they break them? Just like in our world, there is jail here. But it's uncommon for rules to be broken. The 
describe much less malicious massacres than humans. Most would never break a rule unless they absolutely had to. One rule is to never harm a human outside of my kingdom. Well, well, it's, we, we can't hurt each other either because that's illegal here too, so... Most girls don't tolerate violence against us, since in general, they're so much stronger than we are. There was an exception about 30 years ago when a human went genocidal. He started killing every monster kill he came across with a gun he was teleported with. Eventually, he was immobilized by slime girl and killed by a harpy. <laughs> well, a bird-like monster girl, but yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. So if you're worried about the strength of monster girls, don't be. Even if you're, uh, they're upset with you, they won't hurt you. Oh yeah, straight the fuck out of you. <laughs> <laughs> what? The, that does make me feel a lot better. Okay, can you guys shut the fuck up? I'm gonna sleep. <laughs> I'll tell you all of the rules they follow later. You look like you're about to pass out. Get some sleep, Morgan. Thanks, I'm exhausted. I opened the door to my house with a key Alexander gave me. And all of them are in here. No, they're not. Oh, okay. The house is pretty nice. I wasn't expecting something like this from the way houses look in a village. An interior decorated was probably brought the food that I would have or part of lots of this dimension. It is used to be electricity, but as Axel said, the technology is pretty basic. It as if have uh, got back decades. I'm so going to miss the internet. <laughs> Oh shit. I lie down under the bed and I'm immediately taken into dreamland. My first day in this strange world has come to an end. The next day, one day after being bitten. Yeah. John. Where am I? Oh, that's right. I'm in a village in another dimension. How could I forget? I don't know what to do. I... I'm going to have to get a job at some point, but for the next few days, I'm uh, happy to deal with the mousy girls who bit me. Knock, knock, knock. Yeah. Is that Alexander? Wow, that's a pretty big house, dude. Coming. I open the door expecting to see Alexander, but that's not who I see. I jump back as soon as I look at her. There you are. Uh, how did you find me? Mazzy girls have a special sense to feel Oh, and the one they marked is nearby Oh my god, I forgot her tits were so huge Jesus Christ Anyway, let's uh <laughs> Let's uh, continue um, If that's the case Then there's no use running from them Well, you have to decide so don't fucking run it Your neck, you have been beaten by two others why did you run away from me? Now I have to compete for your affection. You yeah. have you gotta be kidding me, stupid human. She pouted at me. It's a lot less frizzing now. I know that it is really unlikely that she will hurt me. Maybe you should have explained things better and not scared me half to death, dummies. You would have been terrified regardless of what I did. I was going to explain everything, but you just ran away. Do you know how lucky you are to be marked by me? Very. <laughs> I thought it was I thought it was Morgan first, like very. Very. I come from a rich, influential family. You should um, you could live out out the remainder of your life in luxury if you chose me. How oh, oh, that you submit it. Both Elamia and I turned towards the door that I had left open. There sounds the Kraken who bit me. Oh jeez. Oh jeez, Christ. Taco tr tried to win him over without us. All here first. A Kraken bit you? This will be easier than I thought. Human. <laughs> you do not want to be with a Kraken. They are extremely obs possessive. Carol never had a moment to herself. 
is that supposed to be a native? I'll show him who is with much more love and affection than you have good. Darling. <laughs> Darling. I, they all have the same voice. I mean, what, once I get a voice that I can, like, can't stop using it. <laughs> Darling, I'm sorry for scaring you away. I only wish to care for you and protect you. I mean, if this was like fantasy world, you know, where where they fight and stuff, you know, like some anime, I would totally go for the Kraken girl because she would like protect me with her life, you know, she, <laughs> you know, like a human, no, not a human, but, you know, a, a meat shield, I guess you could say. So, yeah, I don't know. I'll just have to see which one I choose. Okay. <clears throat> she walks in front of me and gives me a warm smile. I try really hard to not get hard. <laughs> <laughs> I try real hard not to, but I end up looking down at her chest. Choose me, and you can touch him all you want. Get those melons out of his face, you walking piece of calibre. Bash. Ow, don't push me. Hey, don't fight. Stay out of this human. <laughs> they're like, they're like, I don't know, like cats. I don't, I don't know how to describe it. What have you to be waiting until everyone's here? Everyone is here. No, there's still one more girl. I was bitten by an alor <laughs> alaroni. <laughs> Last. I know. She's in the room. She's hiding behind that chair. Beep. Oh my god, she oh she's gotta be that one? Oh man, this is gonna be a hard choice for me, guys. I look at where the Kraken's pointing and I see vines coming out from behind the chair. Oh my god, she's tiny. Jesus Christ, I thought they were the... Oh god. But she has tits though, so it's okay. <laughs> I mean... As long as she has tits, it's okay, you know? There's nothing wrong with it. Like, oh, she's so short, and then they... Then they see her cleave, and they're like, Ah, oh, okay, she has tits, she's not a kid. <laughs> Hi. And Aroni curses. She might be a challenge. They're shy, innocent. <laughs> The shy, innocent demeanors has been known to win over men. Well, I'm... Just look at her, like, she's totally blushing and shit, like... Oh, jeez. She's a threat? But I'm not? Krakens rarely ever win over a human unless they are the only ones to bite them. Oh, well, that's... that's just sad. Like, jeez. I heard about one Kraken who bit four men and blood she lost each time. What a poor excuse of a master girl. Mm. <laughs> that was you. Why don't you give up now? Oh my god, now I just feel sorry for her. Oh Jesus Christ. Just, don't be so mean to her. She has the right to come paid for him just as much as you do. Quiet, Alroni. 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 Oh, oh, fuck. I don't... I'm gonna call her... I'm gonna call her the grass girl. I'm gonna call her Greeny. Green, I don't know. Uh, I'm sorry. If any of you should worry, it should be me. Oh. See? How mean she's to me and Alan <laughs> and Greeny. <laughs> you don't want such an immature girl as your wife. No, you want a woman who can treat you well and be there for you when you need her. I, I think I sh you should he should pick me. I I have a taste of the healthy doctor he can drink when he's hungry. I I know where to find any kind of fruit or vegetable that I'm of low maintenance. I mostly did only water and sunlight to survive. The three muscles are among themselves for the next five and a few minutes. I stay silent for the most part, sharing my thought infrequently. Oh jeez. Human, which one of us appeals to you the most at the moment? I'm just gonna save here. You know, last time I saved... Hey guys, so I just need to tell you. Last time I saved, I... I, I pushed the save button. 
the quick save button, but it didn't save my game. So I had to play, so I had to play a lot off camera. <laughs> it was pretty lame. Which one are you gonna choose? Eh? Yeah, right, huh? So, I don't know. Which do you think, guys? Should I say Kraken, Lamia, or Greeny? The green girl. <laughs> because I'm gonna end the episode here. Hmm. If you guys like one of the girls and wanna convince me to take that one, go nuts in the comments below. But in the meantime, I'm gonna... Hmm. Jeez, will I be able to sleep at night? I will be picking up these girls. Oh jeez. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye bye. Yeah.